<laughs> El Diablo's Hell Oween Art Giveaway Contest has a winner. A winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Hey, everyone, it's El Diablo, the mascot of the Sandy Machine, the cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. Nobody. Nobody does it better. Yes, we have a winner. I just wanted to show my cheeky, handsome little devil face for you all. Some people that are new here are confused. They see this and, oh, what, what is that? Is he a daemon? Is, is that a diamond? Is that a diamond? What is that? Because of my horns, my cheeky little grin here. Some even said this was a, an Illuminati pyramid. A cute, they called it a cute little Illuminati pyramid. And a lot of people don't seem to notice my golden, gorgeous, glorious halo. But anyway, this isn't about me. This is about the winner the winner of the first annual Halloween art giveaway contest. So when the others are putting their hands out and begging for shekels and trying to shame you to give them shekels, you know, to get to pay, pay them hundreds of dollars an hour, hundreds of dollars a month, you know, memberships for their channels, everything. They're, they've monetized their channels. Some are even complaining about these channels. Their chats are full of fucking ads. They say that's too many ads. They're just throwing in all these ads. They're doing, they're do, doing everything to get as many shekels as they can from YouTube and from anybody that watches them. And it's ridiculous. So we're doing something different here. We've done this in previous months, giving away artwork, uh, t-shirts and other things. But, uh, that's what we're doing. We're, we're doing something different to disrupt the system and to fight back against these money grubbing, shekels beggars and shekels lovers the shekel meisters on youtube that are scammers and grifters it's all about the money with them it's all about the goddamn money and you know what money does in this realm you know i gotta say i've come to the point that i, I wish it didn't exist i wish there was a completely different system but i wish a million things were different about this realm obviously it's corrupt and it's rotten it's rigged rotten to the core here and it's rotten it's way beyond money way beyond money here the evil is, is so far beyond just money but that's just part of it and and money just corrupts things when it comes to selling truth like it's a product and selling access to videos and access to knowledge it's it's wrong and that's the way i view it and i've been open about that and stated it clearly since even before i ran a youtube channel it's wrong to charge for this stuff it really is okay as for artwork, that's different. You're getting something that is a physical item that costs me money to make, obviously. Posters, shirts, prints, all that stuff costs money. And I don't get it made for free. Uh, I have to pay for it. So I'm not complaining, though. I love giving it away. I wish I could give everybody a shirt on my channel. I wish I could give everybody a shirt or frame prints or, uh, you know, canvas prints or acrylic block, whatever. I wish I could give away my artwork every day. If I could do that, I would give it away every day, if I could. All over the world, I would do that in a heartbeat, and I would be smiling, loving it. If I could afford to do that, I would do it, for sure. Because I love knowing that my artwork is either being worn by someone, or they're, wear, they're wearing it, or they have it on their wall of their bringing some energy to their uh, house, their home, their apartment, or, you know, if it's a shower curtain, they're or, uh, you, you know, they're basically bathing, looking at my artwork, or they're wearing it, or they're sleeping in it. They're, they're always, you know, there's always that connection with the sanity machine or with my creations. And I do enjoy that, you know. Wear it, you can sleep with me. Not sleep with me that way. I mean my artwork, obviously, obviously, people. And you can wear it, and you can wear, you know, shirts, leggings, uh, uh, shower curtains, uh, wall art canvas, metal prints, uh, you name it, framed prints, of course, posters. 
By the way, the posters are very nice. I ha always have one up on my door, or several, a lot of times. But yeah, people recognize me just walking around here because I wear my art, my own art shirts all the time. And they say, where did you get that? And I'll say, I, I, I made this. I'm a painter, I'm an artist, I draw, I paint, I create things. Um, I have an imagination, and I love to share with people. And uh, I love to give away my artwork, too. I don't just sell it. I give it away in person to lots of people. Okay, I try to give away... I try to do what I can in this realm. But anyway, this, this is a going way off topic. So hold on a second, people. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Congratulations to Justin. He is the winner right here. And here's his comment. This is a little program, a random comment picker for YouTube. It goes through all your comments on your, and there were 23 entries. You can check off the to ignore the double entries if people have posted multiple comments, same person, or if they've posted replies on their comments, it just goes through the original comment. Here's what he wrote, and it shows it. The soul who keeps giving. I love the feel the music art. The reminder to still enjoy good music is needed. I like it in black. All amazing art. This was on the video where I showed my artwork from one of my print sites on Redbubble. And uh, he chose Feel the Music. And I'm going to show that piece, but this was a great comment. And that's all you needed to do to enter. No fee to enter. Free to enter. It ran a little bit later. I was going to give the give away or announce the winner uh, on Halloween, and I kind of forgot. I've been so worn down by insomnia for the past, especially the past week, but the past two weeks plus, it might even be a month, but not as bad as recently. It's been really bad. I've been really struggling. And I've been getting tired by like 10 o'clock at night. I'm not kidding you. Which is very, very unusual for me. I usually stay up into the night 1, 2, 3 a.m. But I don't like staying up till 8, 9 a.m. in the morning and I still can't sleep. And I've been laying there tossing and turning for four or five hours. It's hell. It's a form of hell. And I realize people go through worse in this realm. But it is one form of hell. It is something that really gets to you after weeks of insomnia. It wears you down. I look like the walking dead right now. But congratulations to Justin. Um, I think he's fairly new to my channel. I'm not sure when he very first started commenting or watching my videos. But congratulations. Anybody that posted a, a, a comment on this and en entered the contest is good in my books. Because I read the comments and uh, you... Thank you all for entering, for leaving comments about my artwork. You are appreciated. Better luck next light, next, uh, not next lifetime. What am I talking about? Better luck next, uh, next time that I run a contest is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, I'm really, I'm really out of it from, uh, lack of sleep, sleep deprivation. Insomnia has taken a toll on me, unfortunately. So th thank you for entering to everyone that entered. You are awesome. I enjoyed your comments. Um, trying to remember, did a guy win before, or has it all been women that have won before Justin? Uh, and I can't, I can't remember the names of every winner, but I remember some of them, women, and I can some come to mind, and uh, I think it might be the first guy that's won, to be honest. So, great choice too. I think feel the music. It's going to look great, and I think you will enjoy it. I hope you do enjoy the shirt. I'm going to show what it looks like. And what I like about this, too, is you, you can run it again if you want to. So if I wanted to give away two, let's say, I could click this and then save his, like I took a screenshot, right, of the winner, and then I could choose another one. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I'll run it again and pick two winners, especially if I can afford it that month. Because, again, it's not free for me to do this, obviously. I don't get the T-shirts made for free. But anyways, the material costs money, and, and they make a bit of a profit as well. But anyway, re regardless of that, I wish I could give away a shirt every day to someone. If I could do that, I would do that. Trust me. I would do that if I could afford to. So, anyway, um, congratulations to Justin once again. Um, got him to email me. And I already put in the order to send off, to have the shirt made and sent 
to them, mailed to them. So um, it should be there, I don't know, maybe between 7 and 14 days, something like that. Sometimes it, shipping really varies these days where you live and just, so, I don't know, it's, it's, sometimes it's super quick and sometimes it takes longer, but that's the way it goes with that. I don't have, you know, anyway, um, what else was I going to, oh, I was going to show, sorry, I'm, I'm, lo I'm losing what I'm, what I was going to plan on doing. So hold on a second, everyone, please bear with me. This is what I wanted to show you. This is the, uh, this is the shirt that Justin won in black. He wanted it in black and it's feel the music. Okay. Question everything, seek truth, and it's a uh, very vibrant colors used in this piece with the musical note. <laughs> and man, I, is that the ampersand? I can't even think of the name of it right now, but I know it's a musical note. It's the famous one. I think it's called the ampersand, but I, I'm kind of losing my memory in my mind. I'm sorry, people. I need to get a drink of my uh, go-to Coke Zero which I'm not sponsored by the, by the way. I didn't make this company. I didn't give them, make them into a billion dollar company. So that's my, that's my little indulgence. <clears throat> that's my sugar free indulgence. Team Evil hates that whenever I mention that they, they get fixated on what I'm drinking. And what I'm eating, what's on my plate, what's go what goes into my belly, what is that going to matter when I leave this realm or when they leave? Think about it. I want people to think about that too. I, I, I want people, and some people said I've helped them by getting them focused on what really matters, what really matters, what's going to help you get out of here. But what's not going to help you get out? Think about that too. And I, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I really want people to think of that. By the way, this brick wall, I didn't hire these models this is red bubble that, uh, you know, they don't work for me. I didn't pay them. Uh, the wall, that's not, this isn't a photo by me. This is just what red bubble does to help artists advertise and show what their artwork looks like on various things like shirts and stuff like that. It's my art, but they make the shirts and they do the shipping and they handle all that for me, which is very, you know, I wouldn't have time to do all that. I don't have time as it is for all the things I'm involved in working on in this life. You know, I wish instead of, I wish there were 10 of me to work on things for 24 hours and wish I didn't have to sleep and maybe I'd get everything done. But I know that sounds strange, but I have a lot of my mind. I have a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas, and I'll never get it all done. Never. No matter how hard I work, I'll never get it all done. It's not just YouTube videos. It's everything else. I mean, so anyway, um, What was I going to say? This is how it looks. This is how how feel the music looks. And I think that's a great choice. I love black t-shirts and also like white as well, especially for summertime, but mainly black. I mainly wear black shirts, at least for t-shirts that have artwork. And uh, one of my favorite shirts is, uh, well, my Pegasus I have on a black shirt. And I also have my pet dragon on a black shirt. And... Uh, my interview with a raven. I have quite a few black shirts with my artwork on it that come to mind right away. But this looks great because it's very colorful and it contrasts the black with the colors here. It's very striking. I think it looks really good. It just pops. And I think in person you're going to be like, wow, this, damn, this really does pop. It stands out. And nobody probably is going to, around you is going to be wearing a shirt that looks like that. Okay, it is original. It's unique. It's bursting with colors and with feeling, which is feeling the music. Frequency, feeling, you really feel it when you can feel music, not just the thump of a bass, which you can feel, obviously, if you're near big speakers with subwoofers, right? You can feel it, you can literally feel it hitting you and it hits your body. But I'm talking about feeling it emotionally, how it hits your body and you feel the emotions of it. So... Hope that, uh, hope that you really enjoy this shirt and wear it with pride. And what else did I want to say? I want to say it's unfortunate some of the things that have been going on lately with the drama and with people lashing out and getting really butthurt over certain 
um, channels on YouTube being exposed. I thought you were truth seekers. The truth is true. It's not positive. It's not negative. It's not supposed to be hurtful. Um, I found out certain things that I'm not going to go into, and I'll never divulge where I got the information from either. But I've been hearing things here and there, bits and pieces from different people, again, unnamed, because I don't, I don't uh, throw people under the bus that help me out by mentioning what's going on or things they've heard and stuff like that, or just like the prices that Lolita charges, let's say, I'm not going to mention. Um, different things like that, but I've been hearing what's going on. And I guess Lolita bought months ago the smear campaign levied against me. Regardless, I don't care what she thinks of me. I don't give a shit. But she's very defensive, I guess, about being exposed. Why doesn't she just step up and make some public videos about me and rebuttals, you could say, and say, hey, the sanding machine made videos about me saying this. Here's my rebuttal. I'm going to say this. But she's been cowardly. She doesn't do it publicly. Go for it. I encourage it. Go for it, Lolita. Prove me wrong. Debunk what I said. Do a rebuttal video. Go for it. I encourage you. I, I, I'm all for that. Go ahead. Make it public. Bring, bring it right out in public. You know, why say things behind my back or in private for months about me? Why not just say it in public? And for Ollie's soul, same thing. You're just a coward. Okay? And you have issues. And I do kind of feel sorry for her in a, in a sense. Because she has issues that I'm not going to reveal here. Unless she really goes off the deep end and gets even nastier about me. Then maybe I will say, hey, this is why she's doing that. Because she has these issues that I know about. And I have screenshots, okay? I'm not stupid. So I do that just to protect myself. I don't do it because I want to expose someone like that. But when they go so far as to make false accusations against me, to call me a gaslighter for making those videos, I'm not gaslighting anybody. I'm showing Lolita as she is. Showing her hand signs. I'm showing, I'm showing what she promoted. All that stuff. That's what she said on video and did. That's on her. You can't blame me, the messenger. Shoot the messenger and lash out at me. And get angry with me for that. I'm showing you the truth. If you don't like it and you get butt hurt, get some cushions, get one of those anal pillows, the one, the, the one that looks like a donut. People that have had surgery on their butthole, get one of those to sit on if you're that butt hurt. Get some butt cream or something. But don't lash out at me. And then people have said, well, you threw in their trash only after she lashed out me, uh, lashed out at me, sorry, in book length comments. And also said crazy shit to me in private. Okay? So maybe you don't have the full story. Maybe you don't know. Have I exposed all that? Have I made a video showing, exposing Ollie's soul? No, I haven't. Is it a possibility? Is it potential that one could be coming? If she, Yeah, there is. If she keeps it up. Uh, best advice, and I've given it to Team Evil before, is just walk away. Walk away. I told Lion Sword that. I told We P33. I told many channels to do that early on, months and months ago. They didn't do it. Some of them took all their videos down because they got defeated by me. They should have listened to the good advice. I don't all, like people. You know what's strange about evil? They tend to think good advice equals bad advice, and they also tend to think he's telling me not to say anything because he's in a position of weakness. No, got it wrong. I'm in a position of strength. And I'm saying it, you, you would be wise to just zip your lips and walk away. Let it go, bro. And I realize Ollie's soul isn't a bro. She looks a bit like one, but she is apparently a female, okay? Apparently. But she has real issues. And one of them is false accusations, which I won't tolerate. I won't tolerate false accusations made on my channel in the comments and then when I'm told when I tell you to back off and t you know uh, don't lash out at me and then it continues with more in, re in replies and then more that's it you've been warned you know I'm done and I was done I don't just give you know say hey if you keep if you keep abusing me I'll do no I don't do that I just you're gone she was gone from all my channels banned no moderator anymore banned some people are stunned by that don't be stunned Early on in my channel, there was someone that love bombed me, a moderator, one of the first moderators, and was gone within like a month or two or less, something like that. And she went nuts. She snapped on me, was making violent threats in, in emails and stuff like that. 
not Ollie, someone else, okay, back then. And uh, yeah, that's what happened. So, what's my point? Um, just because I give someone the privilege of being a moderator doesn't mean they can abuse me or that I'm going to tolerate it or that, hey, they're the best in the world and they get a big ego because I made them a moderator. No. If you act like an asshole and you're violent or you make threats or you make false accusations or uh, say that I'm gaslighting because I said something in videos, you know, or I disagree with you or I don't tolerate your abuse and your lies and insults and you know, uh, trying to put words in my mouth, which Ollie Soul tried to do, tried to say that I was saying that I'm the only one that's telling the truth on YouTube and only listen to me and you can't watch any other channels. No, I never said any of that. I said point to the point to where I said that. Show me a timestamp in, in in this video on Lolita or any other video where I said that because I haven't. But I'm free to expose anybody that I want at any point. If I take months to do it, so be it. I can't expose millions of channels on YouTube. I'm one person. But there are, the, there, there are a, like an endless amount that could be exposed or are in the very least are fishy and suspicious. In the very least. There's a huge amount. If people don't understand, look at mainstream media. It's all controlled. Do you think they just leave YouTube alone? Or Odyssey? Or BitChute? Or Facebook people with t tons of followers? Or Instagram profiles with tons of followers? No, they don't. Or Twitter. They pay these people quite often. Sometimes they, on Twitter, I've heard they've paid some of them five, six, ten thousand $10,000 for one tweet if they have a big enough following to send them to something. Okay? Like a get-together, a gathering, or a Burning Man type thing. They've paid people, quote, influencers per tweet, thousands of dollars if you have a big enough following. What do you think YouTubers can get with 100,000, 150,000 um, subscribers, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000 subscribers? These big, quote, truther channels, which are shills. What kind of money do you think they can make um, that isn't even just through YouTube? It's like on the side, in a sense, or covert, sorry, covert, okay, through different agencies, let's say, and stuff like that. Do, you, do people understand? I'm not trying to be condescending, but I realize there's, there's a wide spectrum on my channel of people that have been researching this stuff for five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And then there's people that have been doing this for three months, five months, three weeks. They just got on my channel. They never knew about controlled opposition. They never knew that some of these channels can be owned, um, controlled, bought and sold, uh, paid for, uh, scripted, on and on, okay, on and on. If it's about money, that's a huge red flag right there. Because once, once money's involved, that's usually their main priority, is money. Is making more money through their YouTube channel. Whether it's, quote, psychic services or readings or tarot card readings or entity attachment removal like Tony Sayers and all these. There's tons of them. He just comes to mind. But there, there's these consulting ones. Call me over the phone, $100 an hour, $120 an hour. For 90 minutes or $150 for not it's just a huge amount of money when you think about it. it really is okay unless you're super wealthy I'm not but you know $150 an hour do you make that at your job or wherever if you're working as a I don't know if you're working retail you're working in a supermarket, even if you're a mechanic or something, are you clearing $150 an hour? Yeah, that seems like quite a bit of money. Some of them are asking $300 an hour. I think Darius might be in the $300 range. Some of them are up there in the hundreds and hundreds of dollars an hour. I think one of them was $600 an hour, $600 and something. Somewhere I saw that. Some, some, one of them was in the $600 from what I recall. It might have been, see, it might have even been 660 or 666, like rubbing it in your face. I mean, I, I'm trying to remember, and as I said, I'm sleep deprived, but some of them are asking exorbitant amounts of money, and it is bloody ridiculous. Really, if you step back and say, you know what, he's right. 
Whether they're really telling the truth or not, that amount of money is huge. There's lawyers in big cities here, like in Bay Street in Toronto, that you can get for $600 an hour or more. But to pay one of these, quote, truther channels, it's, it is incredible to me that people are paying this. And they really think they're getting the truth for that. You don't know what you're getting for that. You don't know who you're paying, really. That's the reality. And I'm just warning people to try to save people some money. If you have that kind of disposable income, please give it to someone in need or an animal in need. And by give it to someone, I don't mean just walk up to someone on the street and hand them $600. I mean like a legit organization that really is, you can see they're feeding people. A food bank, let's say. That really helps people. There are people that go hungry and they rely on food banks. I'm not putting anybody down. I know people that rely on food banks on online and in person. I've known people that have not, you know, not forever relied on them, but used them when they had to, you know. And I'm aware of this and I'm not putting you down. Trust me, I'm not. I'm just saying if you could donate food or money to buy food somewhere, either a food bank or maybe at a, a soup kitchen, as, you, as they're usually called, somewhere that feeds people that are hungry, especially where you live. Keep it local if you can. Keep Help locally if you can. Okay? Because uh, These days, wherever you live, it seems like there's some people in need or animals in need. Again, if you don't want to help people, help animals in need that are strays, that need shelter, that need food, that need medication sometimes, that need healing they need may, might need surgeries they might need things because they have they have uh, wounds they've been on the street and they need, need medical care if you could help an animal a stray dog or a stray cat please do that because that's that is an animal in need i'm not needy i'm not in need i do appreciate when people choose to purchase my artwork there's never any pressure to purchase any of my artwork i love sharing my artwork and i love showing it to people Obviously. Of course I do. I love when people send me videos or pictures of my artwork in their homes on their walls or them wearing one of my shirts. I love that. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? I love that because they're wearing something I made. Or they have something that's brightening up their living room, let's say, or their bedroom or wherever that I made. And I love seeing that. And it, it feels good. But what I'm saying is I'm not needy. You don't have to buy my artwork. It's not You're not under any obligation on my channel, there's no pressure at all to buy anything here, ever, ever. So if you have disposable income, please help someone, a, a person, a spirit, whether it's a person or an animal in need. Really, that touches my heart when people have said, hey, Stephen, because you suggested that, I went and helped a charity or, you know, a legit one, not a huge one that's a scam, but one that they know is helps people because they've seen the results locally in their community where they live. Uh, that, that is heart touching that you're helping someone in need and thinking of me and saying, thanks for the idea. Thanks for suggesting that. Um, instead of giving my money to something else or someone else or a channel that doesn't need it, I'm helping, I'm doing it, making a difference by helping someone in need. That is beautiful beautifully done to everyone who has done that. And I mean that with as much sincerity as, as my spirit has. I really appreciate you for doing that, for trying to help out because there's a lot that are really struggling and suffering. Try not to get emotional doing this. I don't want to be one of those crybabies on YouTube channels that just breaks out in tears, but you know what I'm saying. But uh, it does touch my heart. And really enjoy that. And then if you say, hey, I thought of you when I did this, when I donated or helped out the needy in this way, animals or people, thank you very much. I'm glad that you're helping. And because that's really the, uh, and that's the other point I wanted to make uh, before I make this too long. That is the real way that we can help others. We can't fix this realm, obviously. It's fucked up by design. It's evil by design. But directly on a small scale, we can help individuals. Cats, dogs, people, okay? Other animals. It might be exotic animals. It might be a shelter for injured uh, 
injured beavers, injured raccoons. I've seen videos on this stuff. Injured birds. Rehabilitation for crows and ravens. Be a great one to donate to as well. Birds that can't fly anymore, they have an injured wing or uh, certain animals that they, they, ha they can't go, they can't release them back into the wild. They were abandoned as babies and they weren't trained to fend for themselves. So they have to be cared for somewhere, you know, adopted. And, you know, all those types of organizations that do that can use donations, either in money or food. You know, they, they have websites, you can find them. It's interesting what you can find just by Googling and looking for some of these places and going, wow, I never knew. And, and you learn things about it. I do. And I watch these videos on some of these places. And, you know, it's just to help them, to help out the needy that are truly needy is a beautiful thing. And please don't waste your money on these scammers on YouTube. Don't give them hundreds of dollars. That money can go to help someone in a real way that really needs it, like a food bank or helping an animal that really needs to be fed or cared for. Or you could adopt an animal if you're looking. That's another thing you can do as well, you know. Anyway, that's, that's what... I would say that's one of the things that touches me the most is when somebody really directly helps out animals or people that are really in need of food, help, medical attention, care, a home, shelter, all that stuff. That is so amazing and so beautiful and wonderful when you do that. I really appreciate people that do that more than my words could ever express on here. And on the other hand, I get sick when people give money to the scammers on YouTube. YouTube, like the forever con man cult, where he's raking in money every month. And I mean, he's just laughing at those people. He doesn't give a shit. And it's really sick because all that money could be used to really help. It's probably thousands and thousands of dollars. Just like John Levi takes in Archaics, the, the sex offender, he makes tons and tons of money every month. Tons of money. I mean, he, he makes enough to build his homes and stuff like that. He's probably building another home somewhere else. He's He's raking in a fortune. People are sending in whole rooms full of rare books that are worth a fortune. It's sickening. He's a sex offender on a list for life, and they're sending in tons of money. And it's just gross. He's not in need, okay? He's a grifter. And there's a lot of those on YouTube, and I've been trying to point this out. Please stop sending them money and instead give to the ones in need in this realm. Do some real good if you have extra money. If you don't, and if times are tough for you and things are, money is tight and all, the, all that stuff, I understand because things have been fucked up here for years and getting worse in America and Canada and I'm sure in England and, and France and other places as well. Australia too, I bet. And, you know, Finland and Sweden. I mean, it's all over the Western world. This was by design with the scamdemic and it really was designed to do that from, you know, 2020 onwards, right? This was all in their plan, of course. So I'm not faulting you if you can't afford it. I'm not. But if you can, if you can afford to help others, and I know that Team Evil will try to, try to twist this, say, oh, he's just trying to sell his artwork. No, I'm not. I'm trying to get people to donate money to help others, to give to the needy. I'll say it again. I'm not needy. Okay? I'm not. So I would rather have the money that anybody has that's spare money disposable income or money that they really want to use to help help others please that are in need that is my wish while i'm living and i will probably have some dying wishes too you know over that time comes it could be many years from now who knows but um and this i'll, I'll call this a living wish my living wish is that i can get maybe hundreds of people to help others while we're alive here and do some good while you're here Help others in need, if you can. If you can't, I understand. I'm not guilting you. I'm not guilting, shaming, nothing. If you can't, I understand. I understand. You know, I do understand. And if you really needed help, I would offer to help you, the ones on my channel. Okay? Helping is what is needed. When we can really do some real help and not give to these scams 
and scam charities too. Be careful of those. The huge charities, for the most part, are big scams. So try to go for these local ones and kind of vet them, look into them first and say, okay, this one really seems legit. I will, I won't be wasting my money on them. It seems like they're really doing things here in, in my community to help out. So I'll give them a hundred bucks or whatever the case, whatever your donation would be. 20, 50, 100, 150, whatever you can afford, whatever it is, you're doing some good. You're doing some good. So thanks to the people that have done that already, that have donated and either donated in my name, said they were going to donate in my name or thinking of me as they give the donation and just in mind thinking this was a good idea. Thanks, Stephen, for, you know, encouraging me, let's say, to do this. That's, that's great. I appreciate that. I appreciate knowing that some people are being helped. People are animals. Um, that's what we can do. That's one thing we can do. We can help others directly like that. We can still do that in this messed up hell realm. We can still do some good here for others in need. And we can also do acts of kindness sometimes. Just maybe the person behind you, pay for them or... Um, give someone an extra tip and they might say, hey, they might say, hey, sir, or hey, lady, uh, I think you made a mistake and go, no, it's no, it's no mistake. It's yours. I'm just spreading, spreading the joy or spreading the kindness, uh, paying it forward, whatever. You don't have to use those expressions if you don't want to, of course. But every once in a while, just surprise somebody with some kindness, with little things, right? Little gift, give them something or, hey, you know what? You brought my mail in a few times or if you live in a building or you did this or, I appreciate you looking out for me or this and that. And just, these are just some ideas. You can come up with your own, but it, it makes their day. It makes their week sometimes. Um, surprise them with some kindness. People love that. And uh, just some of my ideas, I'm just, you know, saying things that we can do here to help others, to lift their spirits, to just to make this place a little bit better in ways that we can do it. There are things we can do. We can do certain things. And on this, I don't know if El Diablo, I can't remember early on in this video, but we bring the madness here. We really do bring the madness. And the madness is in opposition to what is, quote, normal and sane in this uncaring and cold and messed up place. Do the opposite. Care about others. Try to be kind. Try to be giving. Try to surprise people with little things. It doesn't have to be expensive. Little things, right? Little things can make the difference. Maybe buy someone a coffee or a sandwich, something like that, a lunch, something to eat, something like that. You get what I'm saying? Walk over to a homeless person and instead of giving them a quarter, you might have a $5 bill or a $10 bill. Some of us don't carry cash. We might only carry 10 bucks at all times in case of emergency. We might have that and maybe just hand that to them and say, hey, you know, get yourself a, a sandwich or a sub or something, or Right? You know, let's just, there's little things that we can do. We can do little things here. We can't fix this place. It is hell realm. But we can try to do little things that do make a difference to that person, to that individual or that animal. To them, it makes all the difference that day. You know? Sometimes that's all we can do in this fucked up place. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. And... Uh, Disrupt the system. And that does disrupt this matrix system overall. You know, it really does. When you fight back that way, it can make a difference. With goodness, with kindness, with art, with beauty, with love, with uh, generosity, with, um, with caring. They want us to believe that there's no such thing as love and care. And that is untrue. And even the shills like Forever Con Man and Dan the Yes Man... Are, and, uh, and others, they're not the only ones saying that love is bad, love's fake here, oh, love's wrong because some people are stalkers, uh, some people are abusive, some people love bomb. That doesn't mean that love itself, real love, is not bad. It's not wrong to feel real love, to feel brotherly love for someone or love them as a friend or love them as one spirit to another. It doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't have to be romantic. It doesn't have to involve... Uh, lust, sex, romance, anything like that. It can just be not humanity. I, I, I don't think that says it. They want us to say, well, it's humanity, but 
I, I mean, they call us humans, the, the fucking demons that run, the evil entities that run this place. It's, it's spiritual love is what it really is. It's caring. And it really is true. And they want us, they want to stop us. They want to make us believe that that's wrong or bad or a bad attachment. So disrupt the system. Do the opposite of what they're pushing. Okay? Choose freedom, disrupt the system, and try to share some love, beauty, care, art, kindness. Thanks for watching, everyone. Mad love to you. Congratulations once again to our winner. There will be more. Bye, everyone.